love and light. So to anyone who's struggling with addictions, especially behavior ones, I want to shine some light in the dark for you, you know. I know it's very hard and it's very tough, especially at certain times in the first days. But if you want to get out of this dark pit of suffering and all these things, and being lost and your health and all these things and just going down a rabbit hole, a spiral that's out of control. If you want us to stop doing, doing this, is very hard to do and it will be hard. What you will need to do is very simple but hard. Is you need to realize no matter how many past relapsations you had, you can stop. And the time for it is now. There is no yesterday and there is no tomorrow. The time to stop is now. Now. Now is all there is. And the future now is going to be much brighter if you just realize that as soon as you can. Take a breath in and out. Now I understand that the withdrawals, especially from specific substances, and I experienced myself with heavy alcohol not too long ago. It feels like total hell and no words from anyone, is, especially in my first days, are gonna do any help for you. But when you will get out of that state, and you might need some professional help too, depends on some, on the thing. But you, there is help for you. So don't be lost, there is help for you. You're loved. You just need to realize this right now. It's just now. Just right now, but you, if you're slugging, you want to give it. Now is the only time for you. Because tomorrow you might be dead or something. Now, now is the time to wake up. Don't waste that time. You know, don't waste that time because think about the past life you had, the past years, the relapsations. Do you regret them or not? Does relapsing on any substance that you tried to fight off and to stop using ever done and good, it was just momentary bliss. And then after that, you're in the same shit, even worse. Again, and you are even more lost. You're in a very dark pit of addiction and being confused. You're killing your mind and body. And this can't stop. God is always with you, even in your darkest pits. But it's you, it's you in the end, who gets out of it. And you can have few experiences in this land, in this earth. You can even experience it in a very bizarre and scary way through addictions and suffering. Or you can experience it how you really want it to be, not controlled by an external substance and by your body dying. Imagine how awesome it would be if you really realize it and take what's worth your heart and stop right now. If you don't, you might be dead in a year. You might have a, you know, you might in a year be with tubes because your liver is failing in reanimation, having your last breaths as a young person. But if you stop now after a year, you already might be doing better. You might be somewhere in nature near the lake enjoying yourself and meditating, you know, or whatever you want to do. If you stop now, you might still have 20 years, 50 years to experience this creation and create and find your dreams. And you, this experience of addiction, will soon, it will, the time will go very fast and it will soon just be a memory, a thing, a phase in your life that make it you stronger. But if you don't, if you continue on that path, if you continue relapsing, if you're continuing like with all of those excuses, you will reach a point where it will be so much more harder. And when you will quit, it will be so much more regrets. By day, by day, it will go on. You need to do it right now and life will be much more brighter. That's the only way to get out of this dark pit right now. Stop. There is help for you, you know. You know what you need to do. Just stop. And it will be much better for you, I'm saying to you. There is... Because if you want to stop... I'm saying to you, you might be just dead in some year. <laughs> or maybe you won't stop right now, but God has given you some more years to live, five, ten. You will fuck your body even more, fuck your life even more, have even more regrets when you realize it's time to stop. So don't be naive. 
you know that only way out of this is either by dying by this or by stopping right now. Stop now and go on the path of light. It will be hard at first, but in the end, you will be so happy. Don't get consumed by your addictions. Don't get killed. You don't know what you're doing if you're continuing on that. So, love and light, I hope you take these words to your heart. I really hope. Because I've been experiencing those things and fighting specific stuff myself. And yeah, everything is the best thing you can do right now. Right now. Um, with all the love, focus on your breath.